Google has a tradition of perpetrating hoaxes, especially on April Fool's Day, as well as various Easter eggs. Easter eggs. Google has added some Easter eggs to its products and services. Search engine. Search do a barrel roll or Z or R twice on Firefox or Chrome, and the screen will do a 360 spin. Searching for a skew or tilt using Firefox or Chrome will cause the search results to be displayed at a slight angle. Searching for ZERG rush causes a bunch of Google OS to attack your page and eventually destroy it, but you can fight back by clicking them. Type any actor's name followed by Bacon number to get the six degrees of Kevin Bacon value. Searching for anagram will result in Google asking if you meant Nagaram. Also searching for define anagram will result in Google asking if you mean Nerdfame again. Searching for recursion will result in Google asking if you meant recursion. Doing a Google image search for Atari Breakout will launch a playable version of the addictive video game using the image results. Searching up binary in Google search will give you the results of the search in binary code. Calculator The calculator accepts many humorous units of measurement, including the beard second, 5 nm, potrazé by 2.2633 mm, smoot, 5 feet, 7 inches, gog, 11.5938151 mm, blintz, 36.4253863 g. Donkey Power, 250.033167 West, and the prefixes Hilla, Tensor Complex 27, Firstly Geiner, Tensor Complex 6, etc. The calculator recognizes a number of strings as numbers. They can be entered by themselves or used in expressions. They must be entered without quotation marks. When used in an expression, the phrases must be entered in lowercase. In addition to mathematical and scientific constants, like pi, e, and Avogadro's number the calculator also accepts. The answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything. Equals 42 as does the answer to life, the universe, and everything reference to Douglas Adams' novel The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The same reference is made when speaking to an artificial intelligence named Mel Eisen next to the face on Mars and Google Earth. When the number 42 is typed, the IE produces the output 42 is the answer to the ultimate question about life, the universe, and everything. The loneliest number equals one a reference to the song by Harry Nilsson. The number of horns on a unicorn one. Once in a blue moon equals 1.16699016108 hertz. A baker's dozen equals 13. Google Maps slash Earth. In early test versions of Google Maps, searching for a route between locations separated by expanses of water, e.g. Paris and New York, provided road directions to the coast of the destination country. In this case, the west coast of France, before suggesting swim the Atlantic Ocean, 3,500 miles, or another ocean, for a different distance. If the user asks for walking directions from China to Japan at step 298, or 31, by car, it will state jet ski, across the Pacific Ocean. The measurement tool in Google Earth allows users to measure distance and smoots, a unit of length derived from a tradition at MIT. Smoots are also recognized by Google Calculator. One smoot in M gives the result one smoot equals 1.7018 meters. Going on Google Street View and heading to the rear of the company's Googleplex headquarters in Mountain View, California, the Google Street View's production team can be seen. Similarly, by looking up Google's office in Rock AW, Poland on Street View, one can see Google employees from that office and similarly for Dublin, Ireland. When the business photos feature was introduced, utilizing the Street View API, Google's Lenoir, North Carolina data center published a full walkthrough. When navigating around the data center and its offices the viewer can see various employees dressed in costume, acting peculiarly, pulling faces, and many other visual gags and Easter eggs. Google Earth search example is the Google Headquarters, 3725, 19.1N, 122.05, 06W.
dragging the Google Street View peg man onto Telegraph Avenue in Berkeley, CA used to display him with a tie-dyed shirt. Also, while in Street View on Telegraph Avenue, one can enter and have a look around some of the shops. He is also given special clothing for some widely observed special occasions, for Halloween he rides a broomstick, for Valentine's Day he stands upon a heart, and during Christmas week, he becomes a snowman. When dragged into Legoland and Carlsbad, the peg man turns into a Lego man. When dragged into Street View in Sun Valley, Idaho, he becomes a skier. When dragged onto the vicinity of the Arthur Ashe Stadium, Flushing Meadows Corona Park, Pegman becomes a tennis player holding a racket. Dragged near the Kennedy Space Center, Pegman becomes an astronaut. The Mars feature of Google Earth used to allow users to speak to a primitive Eliza clone on the planet by searching for Eliza, but it later vanished, either taken away, or it has disappeared. It is back. As of October 28, 2013. There is a place on the southern point of Half Moon Island, Antarctica, that has blue roads. When the man is dragged on this spot, the man turns into a penguin and users can explore the area the same as a road. Searching for Ninionic Xass in Google Maps used to direct to the tech firm's headquarters in Mountain View, California, where an engineering manager called Ninioni Wang worked until 2009. Another 3D building's Easter egg involves the famous bridge jump scene from the Blues Brothers, which is recreated in Google Earth at the Tacony Palmyre Bridge linking New Jersey and Philadelphia. In Google Maps, when the Shire or Rivendell is entered as the start point and mortar as the destination, and the walking directions button is clipped, the directions return the warning. Use caution one does not simply walk into mortar. On July 20, 2005, the 36th anniversary of the first human landing on the moon, Google debuted a version of Google Maps that included a small segment of the surface of the moon. It is based entirely on NASA images and includes only a very limited region. Fanning causes the map to tile. The map also gives the locations of all moon landings, and the Google Moon FAQ humorously mentions a connection to the Google Copernicus hoax, which Google claimed to be developing. Supposedly, by 2069, Google Local will support all lunar businesses and addresses. Zooming to the closest level in Google Moon used to show that the moon was made of cheese. If the coordinates 63 to and 2955 W are input into Google Maps, it would return a photo of the city of Rapture from by a shock. The photo has been deleted, but it still read the city of Rapture, though now both are removed. When searching for Sweden in Google Maps, instead of the geographical center, as for other countries and states, zooming in reveals that the map is centered some 200 km away at Harang, Sweden, and more specifically the Folketshus, which is the focal point of Harang Dance Camp. If the coordinates for Point Nemo are inputted into Google Maps, a shadowed imprint shows up with a compass and the word Nemo in the ocean. If you put in the coordinates 44 full 139.77 and 746 10.71 e into Google Earth slash Maps, a giant pink bunny is shown, this is less an Easter egg of Google Maps, more one of Earth itself. Searching police telephone box will lead you to a police telephone box in Earls Court, London. Entering Street View will show the interior of the TARDIS from Doctor Who. If you search the coordinates 52.376552, 5.198303, and zoom into the green arrow, you will see a man dragging a dead body into a lake, with a long trail of blood behind the dead body. Google.com homepage in December 2009, Google added an Easter egg on their homepage, whereby clicking the I'm feeling lucky box with no text entered brings up a clock counting down the seconds until 2010. When it reached zero it displayed Happy New Year in fireworks. In December 2009 when typing in a search term including the word Christmas the line separating the sponsored links from the normal search is replaced with Christmas lights. Also, when typing in a search term including the word Hanukkah the line separating the sponsored links is replaced with a Dreidel design. From May 21, 23, 2010, 
Google replaced its usual homepage with a playable Google-style Pac-Man game to celebrate its 30th anniversary. The Easter egg here was that by pressing Insert Coin, which replaced the I'm Feeling Lucky button a second time, users could play a two-player version of Pac-Man, starring both Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man, moving in WASD, in the same game. This was a first in the history of Pac-Man by the creators of Google Pac-Man at the 2011 Google i slash o conference. Google's game is still playable. On November 30, 2012 when clicking the I'm feeling lucky button with no text, it changed into an I'm feeling stellar button. When the stellar button was pressed it brought the user to a Google Earth Hubble telescope image of light moving outwards from a stellar outburst. On December 19, 2012, hovering the mouse over the I'm feeling lucky button made it spin to a random selection that included not just I'm feeling stellar, but also I'm feeling hungry bringing up a search for restaurants, I'm feeling artistic googlierproject.com, I'm feeling puzzled dagooglyday.com, I'm feeling wonderful world wonders project, I'm feeling playful google doodles, and I'm feeling trendy google trends. If you select I'm feeling lucky without typing anything in, it will display past Google logos. In September 2013, Google had a playable piñata game on their homepage to celebrate their 15th anniversary. Also, searching Google in 1998 will take you to an actual search result for Google as it was in 1998, complete with their original UI and logo, as well as a Take Me Back to 2013 button. Clicking some of the results on that page took the user to that result in 1998 using the Internet Archive Wayback Machine. Gmail On the Suggest a Feature page for Gmail, it shows Have Gmail Do the Laundry as a suggestion. Above the list of emails in Gmail, there is normally an ad, except in the Spam folder where there is instead a link to a recipe containing spam. Also, if one visits Trash, they get tips for recycling. Google Translate The English Translate button uses a different font than the other buttons. Go to translate.google.com and set Translate From to English by writing certain sets of characters, i.e. PZ, BSCHK, FZ, the translator will be changed to a beatbox mode. The tooltip which shows when the cursor is held over the speaker icon will now show beatbox rather than listen. Various combinations of consonants typed into the translator will result in a beatbox output rather than their usual speech narrator output. Note that there are other languages besides English which may be chosen for the beatbox mode to be operable. For example, Albanian, Armenian, German, and Belarusian will work, but not Azerbaijani, Basque, or English. Android Since the Gingerbread 2.3 version of Google's Android operating system an Easter egg containing a funny animation has been hidden. The Easter egg can be accessed through the Settings application in the About Phone section by repeatedly tapping the Android version section. The animation is different in every version of the OS. In 2.3, Gingerbread, an image of an android robot in a crowd of zombies is displayed. The image is entitled Zombie Art by Jack Larson. In 3 period X, Honeycomb, an image of an android bee is displayed. In 4.0, Ice Cream Sandwich, Google has made a parody of Nyan Cat. Instead of a cat 8-bit versions of Android robots enveloped in an ice cream sandwich biscuit fly over the screen. In 4.1, Jelly Bean, a bunch of jelly beans are spread over the screen. The user can then fling the jelly beans around. Doing the same thing in 4.2 unlocks the jelly bean flinger as a daydream. In 4.2, Jelly Bean. When enabling developer tools, by tapping the build number five times in the about screen, a note will appear at the bottom of the screen telling the user how many taps of the build number that are left before he slash she becomes a developer. Once tapping it five times, the note congratulates the user saying that you are now a developer. Tapping it again afterwards results in the text no need, you are already a developer appears. In 4.3, Jelly Bean. An image of a red jelly bean appears. Tapping the screen causes a smiling face 
to appear on the bean, while white text below reads Android 4.3, and below that, Jelly Bean. Repeatedly tapping the jelly bean will bring up a bunch of jelly beans and possibly a candy cane spread out across the screen, which the user can then fling around. This appears each time you turn on your phone from standby until the user exits. YouTube Holding down the left and up arrow while pausing or watching a video caused a game of snake to launch. This could also be done by pressing the right arrow instead of the left one. This was actually a result of two steps, pressing the up arrow while a video is loading launches the game, while pressing the left arrow forces the video to rewind and load momentarily, thus allowing the game to launch. Since the 2013 update, this no longer works. During the course of the 2010 FIFA World Cup, YouTube had a button shaped like a soccer ball in certain videos that plays a recurring view views a sound throughout the video. During December 2011, a button was added which, when clicked, caused animated snow to fall from the top of the video. A 500 internal server error will cause this message to appear, sorry, something went wrong. A team of highly trained monkeys has been dispatched to deal with this situation. Please report this incident to customer service. Also, please include the following information in your report followed by an error report encoded in Base64. Adding an Wadsworth equals 1 to a video URL will apply Wadsworth's constant, skipping the first 30% of the video. If a user attempts to click their own subscribe button, a mouse over will appear stating no need to subscribe to yourself. This feature no longer functions. At one point, the scroll bar for the Nyan Cat video was replaced by Nyan Cat. As of December 2012, the view count on Gangnam Style features a sprite version of Psy Dancing to commemorate reaching 1 billion views. Putting in the search box Do the Harlem Shake will cause the page to do the Harlem Shake. It can be muted and paused. On April 15, 2013, in Ocassian of the VHS 57th anniversary, YouTube added a tape mode button in the video player. When push the button, the video will take a degraded videotape look. Tape mode is still available, adding an VHS equals 1 at the end of the video URL. At the beginning of the robots.txt file, robots.txt file for YouTube created, in the distant future, the year 2000, after the robotic uprising of the mid-90s which wiped out all humans, is commented out. This might be a reference to the flight of the Concorde song Robots, also known as Humans Are Dead. An occasion of the first YouTube Geek Week, putting in the search box slash Geek Week will make YouTube have the Unix terminal style. It works for any searching starting with slash. An occasion of the first YouTube Geek Week, putting in the search box use the force, Luke will put away the effect on the results, which periodically fly around the screen. An occasion of the first YouTube Geek Week, putting in the search box beam me up, Scotty will echo the classic Star Trek effect by beaming. The videos on to the results page. An occasion of the first YouTube Geek Week, putting in the search box Fibonacci will arranges the results in a tiled effect in accordance with a mathematical sequence of the same name. An occasion of the first YouTube Geek Week, typing 1337, while viewing a video page will cause the comments to appear in 1337, leet, speak it doesn't work on search or comment box. An occasion of the first YouTube Geek Week, a small, POW button was added on selected Geek Week videos. When pushed it made the videos appear as if in a hand-drawn comic book. An occasion of the first YouTube Geek Week, typing 1980, while viewing a video page will play a game called Missile Command it doesn't work on search or comment box, you need to defend the video from missiles, and after video is done you win. An occasion of the first YouTube Geek Week, putting in the search box ponies or bronies will make my little pony, friendship is magic ponies appear on the screen. Also, searching the names of many characters from the show will cause the top bar to become the same color as the character. X, Rainbow Dash. Other. Typing in the Nyan Cat Hemoticon, Dilder equals 3, on Google Plus Chat makes the text turn into an animated Nyan Cat. Pressing Ctrl Shift Y and Picasso will cause a teddy bear to appear on the screen.
Google offers services in many languages, including several uncommon ones, like Swedish chefs Bork Bork Bork, Pig Latin, Hacker, usually known as 1337SP34K, Elmer Fudd, Klingon, and Pirate. If one sets the IGOOGLE theme to the beach option, then at 3.14 a.m. every morning, the Loch Ness Monster surfaces for one minute, then at 3.15 dives back under. The reason for the timing of 3.14 is rumored to be a tribute to the number pi. Additional 3.14 eggs include the seasonal scape showing off the northern lights, the cityscape with UFOs, the springscape with the monster, the sweet dreams, with the stars aligning to the shape of the symbol pi, and the tea house, that has spirits in the mist. In Chrome, Google's web browser, entering about internet into the address bar brings up a copy of the Windows screen saver 3D pipes, with the title Don't Clog the Tubes. In the event that this does not occur due to the fact that the screen saver file does not exist in the system, the browser will instead display a gray screen with the title The Tubes Are Clogged. This has been removed as of the 2.0.169.1 release. The Google Gears Firefox add-on description line reads These are the gears that power the tubes. Smile. Google Chrome's Gears DLL's description also reads These are the gears that power the tubes. Smile. The above two Easter eggs allude to former Senator Ted Stevens' series of tube speech on the Senate floor. In Google's IPHONE and iPod Touch search application, Swiping down words, passed about, repeatedly in the settings interface brings up a hidden menu item, called bells and whistles, allowing customization of colors, sounds, and more within the app. This is now standard on the newest update. In Google Voice, once a text message being typed exceeds 320 characters, 2 by 160, per SMS, the countdown changes to really. In Google Docs, within a spreadsheet, Pressing Shift plus F12 brings up the message, Dragon Slain. Congratulations, you've slain the dragon. Going to Heart gives a Java applet with an interactive jumping heart under the Google logo of the search page. The applet was made in 2000 by Ken Berlin. In Google I slash O2013 page, can click letter I or O to input password. For example, when input OIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIIII
TM has determined that this is not your final answer. Please try again. Mentalplex 2002 Google reveals the technology behind its page rank system's pigeon rank. Google touts the benefits of this cost-effective and efficient means of ranking pages and reassures readers that there is no animal cruelty involved in the process. The article makes many humorous references and puns based on computer terminology and how Google Page Rank really works. For example, a chart showing the pigeon's consumption of linseed and flax, represented as lin slash axe kernels, a pun on the linex kernel. PJ non rank. 2004. Fictitious job opportunities for a research center on the moon. Luna slash X, a pun to Linux, and the Latin word for moon, as well as a reference to both the Windows XP visual style and Mac OS X, is the name of a new operating system they claim to have created for working at the research center. Lunar Job 2005 Google Gulp, a fictitious drink, was announced by Google in 2005. According to the company, this beverage would optimize one's use of the Google search engine by increasing the drinker's intelligence. It was claimed this boost was achieved through real-time analysis of their user's DNA and carefully tailored adjustments to neurotransmitters in the brain, a patented technology termed autodrink, as the Google Gulp FAQ suggests, partly through Mao inhibition. The drink was said to come in four great flavors glutamate grape. Glutamic acid, sugar free radical, free radicals, beta carotene, beta carotene, and serotonic water, serotonin. This hoax was probably intended as a parody of Google's then invite only email service called Mail. Although ostensibly free, the company claimed the beverage could only be obtained by returning the cap of a Google Gulp bottle to a local grocery store, a causal loop. In the Google Gulp FAQ, Google replies to the observation I mean, isn't this whole invite-only thing kind of bogus? By saying dude, it's like you've never even heard of viral marketing. Google Gulp Google Gulp FAQ 2007 Mail Paper At about 10 p.m. Pacific Time, where Google has its headquarters, on March 30, 2007, Google changed the login page for Gmail to announce a new service called Mail Paper. The service offered to allow users of Google's free webmail service to add emails to a paper archive which Google would print on 96% post-consumer organic soybean sputum and mail via traditional post. The service would be free, supported by bold, red advertisements printed on the back of the printed messages. Image attachments would also be printed on high-quality glossy paper, though MP3 and WAV files would not be printed. The page detailing more information about the service features photographs of Ian Spiro and Carrie Kemper, current employees of Google. Also featured are product marketing managers of Gmail and Christina Douglas and Shane Lawrence. Gmail Paper Index Gmail Paper Announcement Gmail Paper Program Policies Google Disp. Google Disp, short for Toilet Internet Service Provider, was a fictitious free broadband service supposedly released by Google. The service would make use of a standard toilet and sewage lines to provide free internet connectivity at a speed of 8 MB slash S, 2 MB slash S upload, or up to 32 MB slash S with a paid plan. The user would drop a weighted end of a long, Google-supplied fiber-optic cable in their toilet and flush it. Around 60 minutes later, the end would be recovered and connected to the Internet by a plumbing hardware dispatcher, PhD. The user would then connect their end to a Google-supplied wireless router and run the Google-supplied installation media on a Windows XP or Windows Vista computer, Mac, and Linux support coming soon. Alternatively, a user could request a professional installation in which Google would deploy nanobots through the plumbing to complete the process. The free service would be supported by discrete DNA sequencing of personal bodily output to display online ads that relate to culinary preferences and personal health. Google also referenced the Diet Coke and Mentos reaction in their FAQ. If you're still experiencing problems, drop 8 mints into the bowl and add a 2-liter bottle of diet soda.
Google Disp. Google Tisp FAQ. Installation page. Press release page. Not found page April Fool's version. 2008. Blogger Google Web Logs Beta. The Blogger dashboard featured an announcement for Google Web Logs, Org Web Logs, Org Blogs, the next revolution in personal publishing. Features include algorithm putting your best content at the top of your BLOG, rather than publishing by reverse chronology, automatically populating your blog sidebar with the most relevant content, posting directly into Google search results for maximum visibility, BLOG headers refreshed with images from Google's Team of Artists for anniversaries of the scientific achievement, similar to Google Doodle, and automatic content generation, unsure of what to post about. Just click I'm feeling lucky and we'll take care of the rest. The announcement was followed by a link to a video tour of the product, which actually led to Tay's on day's cover of Recusley's Never Gonna Give You Up. Blogger Buzz, the official buzz from Blogger at Google, announcing Google Web Logs, Beta. Dajare. Google launches Dajare in Japan. Google.co.jp, with a mission of organizing the world's laughter. GDAY Google announces GDAY in Australia, a new beta search technology that will search web pages 24 hours before they are created. The name is a play on the phrase day. GDAY Mail Custom Time Mail sign and page and a banner at the top of each mail inbox announced a new feature called Mail Custom Time, that would allow its users to predate their messages and choose to have the message appear as read or unread. The new feature uses the slogan Be On Time. Every time. Around 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, March 31, 2008, on the newer and older version of Gmail, but not in the basic HTML version, in the upper right corner, next to Settings, a link appeared labeled New. Mail custom time. The link led to a 404 error until April 1st, when it led to the full mail custom time hoax page. Clicking any of the three links at the bottom of the page brought the user to a page stating that mail custom time was, in fact, their April Fool's Day joke. Google Book Search Scratch and Sniff. Google Book Search has a new section allowing users to scratch and sniff certain books. Users are asked to please place your nose near the monitor and click Go, which then loads odors. When clicking on Help, users are redirected to a page in a book that describes the origins of April Fool's Day. Inside Google Book Search Blog, Google Book Search now smells better. Google Calendar is feeling lucky. Google added the I'm feeling lucky button to its calendar feature. When a user tries to create a new event, the user was given the regular option of entering the correct details and hitting create event, and also the new option of I'm feeling lucky which would set the user up with an evening date, with, among others, Matt Damon, Eric Hartman, Tom Cruise, Jessica Alba, Pamela Anderson, Paris Hilton, Angelina Jolie, Britney Spears, Anna Kornikova, Johnny Depp, George W. Bush, or Lois Griffin. Google Docs a little Easter egg was added, where a user can click the file menu, and directly under New Document is New Airplane which immediately opens a copy of a Google-branded paper airplane. To reach the file menu, click the New Menu, then Document then a new window opens. Entering the Konami code in a document then pressing Enter will make the document flip left to right. Doing so again will make it flip back. Google Manpower Search Google launches Manpower Search in China. Google CN, this new feature is powered by 25 million volunteers who do the searching around the clock. When their user entered a keyword, volunteers will search any possible answers from a mass of paper documents as well as online resources. The user is expected to get the search result within 32 seconds. The search button now avoids the user's cursor, making it tricky to click on the button. Google Talk Google announces plans to, on April 22, 2008, Earth Day, shorten all conversations over Google Talk thereby reducing the energy required to transmit chats in an effort to reduce carbon output. Google Talk goes green. Google Wake Up Kit
Google launched their Wake Up Kit as a calendar notification option. The Wake Up notification uses several progressively more annoying alerts to wake you up. First it will send an SMS message to your phone. If that fails, more coercive means will be used. The kit includes an industrial size bucket and is designed to be connected to your water main for automatic filling. In addition, a bed flipping device is included for forceful removal from your sleeping quarters. Virgil 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 Logo Google announces a joint project with the Virgin Group to establish a permanent human settlement on Mars. This operation has been named Project Virgil. The announcement includes videos of Richard Branson, founder of Virgin Group, as well as Larry Page and Serge Ebron, the founders of Google, on YouTube, talking about Virgil. An application to join the settlement includes questions such as I am a world-class expert in Physics First Aid Engineering Guitar Hero 3 after the user submitted the application, the site notifies the user that the user is not fit for space, or that the user's application is fine, and all you have to do is submit your video as a response to their video on YouTube. As a result, an open-source Virgil group has been established, Open Virgil. On the FAQ page, the final question is OK, come on seriously. Is this Virgil thing for real? The reply links to a page that tells the user it's an April Fool's joke, and then mentions that the user dragged us out of our lovely little fantasy world to crush all our hopes and dreams. Virgil Application Page Virgil, The Adventure of Many Lifetimes Yogurt Yogurt Google's Orcut displayed its name as Yogurt, Google Bang, Inc. YouTube on April 1, 2008, I'll featured videos on the UK and Australian homepages, and later, all international homepages, of Google-owned YouTube link to a video of Rick Astley's song Never Gonna Give You Up causing all users of the website who clicked on featured videos to be rickrolled. This was the first year YouTube participated in Google's April Fool's Day tradition. 2009 Google runs on Microsoft Windows i/3.0. Google.com. O reported as if it ran on i/3.0 and Google.com on Apache/0.8.4. On Linux, the announcement of KD was made on the 31st of March 2009 11:59 p.m. by the KD team, not on April 1st. The announcement on the Google BLOG was made at 2009-04-01201 a.m. The introduction page and all of the references to KD and Google's products were taken down on April 2nd, replaced with a message stating, We apologize for the recent disruption, S, to our service, S. Please stand by, while order is being restored. However the technology page describing the technical capabilities of the software remained at technical description. When using Google Books or Mail, a user would come across an announcement dated March 31, 2009, at 11.59 and 59 seconds, declaring a new cognitive auto-heuristic distributed intelligence entity. KD is also mentioned on the GBALLFAQ page. Google's new KD technology will interpret the data obtained from each ball to provide useful tips to owners. There was also a link on Google's homepage for KD and a BLOG entry in Google's official BLOG. KD technology is also used to generate Senryu, a type of Japanese poem similar to haiku, based on search terms for certain Japanese queries. The Google search homepage had a link to the KD announcement, 87 stating that for several years now a small research group has been working on some challenging problems in the areas of neural networking, natural language, and autonomous problem solving. Last fall this group achieved a significant breakthrough, a powerful new technique for solving reinforcement learning problems resulting in the first functional global scale neuroevolutionary learning cluster. The page links to the BLOG below. On mobile devices, a link shows up to Brain Search, which uses KD technology to index your brain. The stead link is what it all looks like from a mobile device. 
YouTube. On April 1, 2009, YouTube gave some users a look at a new viewing experience. When they selected a video within certain areas such as the recommended for you section, this new interface caused the whole layout including the video you were watching to flip upside down. Although the option was not visible for some, it could be viewed by adding and flip equals 1 to the end of a video URL. Adding and flip equals 1 to the end of a video URL no longer causes this effect, and the video loads normally. A page on tips for viewing the new layout suggested users hang their monitors upside down from the ceiling. Although the layout did not reverse mouse control. Mail. When one is using the mail service, they will notice that it has a new option. Named Mail Autopilot in which the service would analyze an email on that page it says under the FAQ section, you can adjust tone, typo propensity, and preferred punctuation from the Autopilot tab under Settings. However, if a person logs into their Gmail account and goes under the Settings tab they will notice that there is no Autopilot tab. The program could be customized to contain certain types of grammatical or spelling errors as well as complexity and length of the sentence. It also has a way of responding to relationship-related messages, such as if someone spoke aggressively, even in a humorous way, the system would terminate relationship. GBALL Google Australia announced the development of a ball that will change how Australian football is played the world over. The newest football technology GBALL is a prototype ball for use in the Australian Football League with GPS. Google Australia announces, new, get the newest football technology GBALL, that they are developing a prototype ball for use in the Australian Football League with GPS. Apparently, the ball will measure the location, force, and or of a kick, and vibrate if player agents or talent scouts want to speak to you. Google claims that the ball will cost $10, with a cost per kick set of payments in addition to the basic fee. Google Analytics A BLOG post to the Google Analytics blog investigates the analytics reports of KD's activities. Google Maps Google's KD has a recommended places to visit using Google Maps. Viewing KD's recommended places for humans one will see each of her suggested places listed that, when clicked, displays a photo and humorous commentary. There is also a KD's Recommended Places for Humans link in Google Maps, which leads to the Panda Maplet, and includes several marked locations with KD's commentary. Under Redmond WA a link is listed which will recroll the viewer. Blogger KD's Personal BLOG Slash Homepage Google Chrome with 3D Screenshot of Wikipedia.org on April 2nd 2009 using Chrome 3D Note the red slash blue glasses toggles which at the top of the browser. The home of Google Mail was offered rendering web pages in Anaglyph 3D, powered by KD. A 3D effect was actually possible with this browser, but it only made the window appear to be sunken into the monitor. Introducing Google Chrome with 3D. Google Earth powered by KD. Google announced a new Google Earth powered by KD which claims to allow the user to see ocean terrain imagery from the world's most advanced submarine, explore the deep sea, soar with KD in real time, view KD's recommended summer vacation, and chat with KD, among other options. Google Code The Google Code search homepage is featuring LOLCODE examples. KD is set to write code for you based on specified features, however all that is returned is bad code, or witty criticisms of your request and choice of programming language, recommending the use of Intercal. KD's source code was supposedly uploaded to Google Code, but she changed her mind, and replaced it with a fun program consisting of 31 lines of Intercal. When executed, this program prints out the message I do not shake. Google Book Search KD recommends some books at Google Book Search homepage. Also, when viewing a book, there is a Generate Book Report button. When clicked it says gotcha. It's April Fool's Day. Sorry, but you'll have to actually read the book yourself. Google Docs On Demand
Google has announced new Google Docs features enhanced by KD add subliminal messages and images to documents. If a person makes a new presentation and looks for the subliminal message and image buttons under the insert menu they will notice it is not there. Upgrade your flesh concave grade level automatically and many other savvy new features. Google Mobile Google Mobile has a link to brain search. The instructions are to put phone to forehead for brain indexing and think your query. When you click try now a page loads with brain indexing status. When indexing is complete, a button comes up with search me by clicking this button. The user is directed to fake search results. There are several possible results. What's the name of that woman by the window? She's my boss's boss, but, oh man, is it Suzanne? Susan? Blanche? Should I order the pizza? I don't remember if it makes me gassy. Wow, cute guy. Should I go up to him? Why is everyone looking at me so strangely? When is mom's birthday? I should send her a card. Google Null. Null was updated so that all of the featured articles were about artificial intelligence, with a message from Katie indicating that this improvement was for the good of mankind. HTTP headers. In keeping with the KD theme, Google has altered the server HTTP header to contain the name of various IE entities, including HAL 9000, WOPR, and GLADOS. Other server HTTP headers found were I slash Bob, a reference to Microsoft Bob, I slash Clippy, a reference to Clippy, I slash 3.0, Netscape IPLANET, Chrome slash 3.0. Google Operating System, Beta, CER and Slash 3.0, a reference to CER and HTTPD, Apple, a reference to Apple I, IRIX, MCP, Apache Slash 0.8.4, Configure, and Skynet, Oil Tanker Data Center. During the last minute sub Google's Data Center Efficiency Summit, Urs Holzo presented in a special topic Google had bought an oil tanker, the M/S Sergi, where Google's data center containers were being submerged in oil tanks to enable extremely high efficiency cooling. The presentation can be seen in the video and includes slightly customized Wikipedia images from the article Oil Tanker, including a retouched photo of commercial oil tanker Obkek and the oil tanker's side view graphic. Even though Google did apply for a U.S. patent to build data centers on cargo ships and oil cooling is an existing technology, some attendee James Hamilton believed this topic to be an April Fool's joke. The ship's name M S Sergi is also likely to be a pun on Google's co-founder Sergi Brin. 2010. Google and Topeka, Kansas, switched places. In early March, the city of Topeka, Kansas, temporarily changed its name to Google in an attempt to capture a spot in Google's new broadband slash fiber optics project. Then, on April 1st, April Fool's Day, Google jokingly announced that it would be changing its name to Topeka to honor that moving gesture, and changed its home page to say Topeka in place of the Google logo. Google Books Available in Anachrome 3D Google Books introduced a feature which allows any book to be read in 3D, assuming the viewer has appropriate glasses. It was enabled by clicking the View, in 3D button in the menu bar, above the book. This feature was removed after April 1st, but on June 29, 2010, Google announced its restoration. Google also released the latest form of 3D glasses, similar to the pairs one would use today when seeing a film. Store anything on Google Docs. Google announced that Google Docs will have the capacity to upload anything, including physical objects, like keys, remote controls, etc. The site declare that one could use this to find items like ease using CTRLF and send objects around the globe by uploading and downloading them at the low price of 10 cents per kilogram. Search results generated in different units. Google's search results page displayed the time taken to load the results in different units from seconds. Several of these are pop culture references, as with 1.21 gigawatts, while others refer to slang. At warp x 20. 0 period 20 centibits. 
0 period 20 cent ons. XE 15. 0.0 X Femta Galactic Years. 1.21 Gigawatts. X 20 Hz. 2020 Jeffies. 0 period 20 micro fortnights. 0 period 20 micro weeks. 0 period 20 nano centuries. 11.90 parsecs. 0 period d plus 43 plank times. 23.00 skidoo. 2.00 shakes of a lamb's tail. 0 period 20 times the velocity of an unladen female swallow. Daca time. YouTube ASCII video filter. The logo of YouTube was overlaid with ASCII text repeating the character 1. The YouTube logo was a reference to some videos having a new quality setting, namely text. According to a notice underneath the videos, viewing the video with this quality setting enabled allowed YouTube to save one US dollar, one dollar per second on bandwidth costs. The notice also remarked on the source of this new feature, wishing the reader a happy April Fool's Day. However in accordance with the announcement, the video quality on many videos was indeed able to be set to text and video output was rendered through an ASCII filter. This feature was removed on April 2, 2010. Animal Translator Beta Google placed a link on the main page, advertising a new Google Animal Translator service to add to their language translator service. Clicking the link would take you to a page advertising an app for Android phones for the translator, with the tagline being bridging the gap between animals and humans. Google Translate for Animals Once the app is installed on an Android phone, it provides some amusing translations depending on the animal selected. Standard Voice Mail Mode for Google Voice Google placed a new Standard Voice Mail Mode link in the Google Voice main page. Evil bit. Google added an evil bit to their Ajax APIs to aid in generating an appropriate response to nefarious deeds. If an evildoer is detected, the code returns with, among other things, for great justice a quotation from the video game Zero Wing. Wave Wave Notifications. Google Wave can be set to have a human being wave at you to notify you of a change to a Google Wave. The user can also select the volume of the human notifier from a list of silent, medium, loud, and vibrate. They can also select which human notifier they want, including Ashton Kutcher, Dr. Wave, Grandma, Werner Heisenberg, and Puppy. Clicking on any of the links on the new notifications page redirected the user to a Google Help page, alerting them that it was an April Fool's joke, but also that email notifications are possible. Google Annotations Gallery The Google Annotations Gallery GAG is an exciting new Java open source library that provides a rich set of annotations for developers to express themselves. Japanese Input System Google's proposed keyboard includes a single key for each Japanese character. Dizem Vowelling on Google Mail the English language homepage of Google Mail, including its logo, was disemvoweled. A post on the Gmail BLOG was created to address the issue, claiming that they had encountered a server error which firstly made the data centers fail to render the vowel, uh, before failing to render the vowels, and were working on the problem. They also claimed to be investigating whether the letter Y was impacted. Chrome Sounds, Google Chrome Extension Google created a new extension, Chrome Sounds, after months deep in psychoacoustic models, the Whitaker Nyquist Katelnikov Shannon Sampling Theorem, Franson FX, Shepard Reset Tones, and 11.1 surround sound research. The extension provides audio for actions performed within the Google Chrome web browser. For a few interesting sounds, try going to different countries' localized Google pages. The full list of sounds that this extension makes can be found by going to the Chrome Tools menu, choosing Extensions, turning on Developer Mode, and viewing the source of the extension. Google Analytics goes back to hits. Google decided that hits really is the only metric for tracking website usage. Life-size Picasa 
Google offered an option which allows their user to print life-size cardboard cutouts of all of their photos. Reader Advantage Program Google announced a reward program for Google Reader, known as Reader Advantage, in which they would assign points to users depending on the number of items read on Google Reader. The rewards were different badges, which, on visiting the Reader Advantage page and clicking on the Enroll button, shows this page. Wingdings and AdSense Wingdings was announced as a new font option for AdSense users. 2011 YouTube A button was added to the video player which, when clicked, would apply a video filter to the video and replace the audio with the recording of Rhapsody Rag, a piece typically played as background music to silent movies, in 1911. If subtitles are enabled when watching the video, intertitles will be displayed containing the dialogue. The upload page also featured an option to send a horse-drawn carriage to me to pick the video up. In addition, a few videos were made parodying several viral videos, such as the flugelhorn feline. Mail Motion A body gesture-oriented way to send and view mail through mail. In the How It Works section it treats mail motion uses your computer's built-in webcam and Google's patented spatial tracking technology to detect your movements and translate them into meaningful characters and commands. Movements are designed to be simple and intuitive for people of all skill levels. An overview video presented by Gmail product manager Paul McDonald explains Gmail Motion's language of movements that replaces type entirely while my artist performs the full body Gmail actions. Upon clicking the Try Gmail Motion button, it tells you about the prank and says Gmail Motion doesn't actually exist. At least not yet, the page also offers a preview of the features of Google Docs Motion. Gmail Motion Google Docs Motion Google Docs Motion Using Mail Motion's technology, Google has promoted the beta version of Google Docs Motion which will introduce a new way to collaborate using your body in their documents, spreadsheets, presentations, drawings, and documentless tools. Autocompleter Job a YouTube video was posted by Google showing a Google Autocompleter employee explaining the job. Also, a job opening was featured for an autocompleter. Clicking on the Add to Job Cart or View Cart links to a Google search for Google April Fool's Day pranks. Autocompleter Job Cromersize Google Chrome launched a new website called Cromersize which aims to increase people's hand strength and dexterity while browsing the web faster and also allowing their hands to fit into sleeker, sexier gloves. On the website, they also gave away free Google Chrome finger sweatbands for a limited time. Japan Due to the large-scale devastation from the 2011 THOKU earthquake and tsunami, in lieu of a traditional April Fool's hoax, Google Japan featured many never-before-featured drawings from its 2009 Google Doodle competition, themed What I Love About Japan drawn by Japanese schoolchildren, saying we promised that only the top prize winners would be featured on Google, but, as this is the only day where lies are forgiven, we have obtained the other children's understanding. As a small concession to the usual festivities, the Google blog mentioned this year's April Fool's joke has been postponed until next year. Next year's April Fool's joke has been postponed until the year following that. Google Google Teleport is a service that allows users to time travel. The site is written in simplified Chinese. It claims that it can take you on a journey through time and space. You can experience everything in first person. Search. Searching for Helvetica Comic Sans or Comic Sans MS. Temporarily change the entire web page's font to Comic Sans. Comic Sans for everyone. Announcement that Comic Sans will become the default font for all Google products. Google also created a Google Chrome extension which changes the font to Comic Sans on all web pages. Google Cow. The Google Body homepage appeared as Google Cow, where a cow's body can be examined in 3D. There was a toggle button that switched to human models. Google Maps The section needs additional citations for verification. 
Please help improve this article by adding citations to reliable sources. Unsourced material may be challenged and removed. April 2011 Google Maps used to display a dragon in Germany's biggest forest, the Falzerwald. Also a shark in Holland's lake called the Ymir, east of Amsterdam. Was featured. When viewed in Earth mode or Google Earth. These can be rendered in 3D. There is also a narwhal in the Thames in London, outside Millbank Tower. The Loch Ness Monster also makes an appearance in Loch Ness. A giant red lobster sits atop the Zockham Bridge in Boston. Also a pink elephant at Amphitheater Parkway, Mountain View, CA. Google Translate for Animals Google UK purportedly offered a version of Google Translate which could be used to talk with animals. Google Voice Google Voice has a new function that makes users spell out common words like embarrassed dizzy or Czechoslovakia before they connect your call in order to prevent embarrassing messages. Also, when typing a text, it will display the amount of characters left before you run out. When it reaches to, it will start going into decimals, 2.358 characters left. If you continue down this path, it will eventually say, really? AdWords AdWords announced a new format, Google Blimp Ads, that would be flying over major cities starting in May. Google I slash O the announced sessions for the Google I slash O conference for software developers were changed to include talks featuring technologies from the late 1990s. Contoso has gone Google. On the Google Enterprise blog, Google announced that Contoso, a fictional company used by Microsoft in Microsoft's product documentation materials, has switched from Microsoft Office and Microsoft Exchange to Google Apps. The post included references to 2007's TISP and 2011's Gmail Motion Jokes. Meow Me Now Mobile On the Google Mobile blog, Google announced a new mobile-based search option for Android and iOS devices which locates kittens near their user's current location. Blogger The blogging service Blogger announced that it was being acquired by Google, even though it has been part of Google since 2003. 2012. Google Maps 8 bit for NES. Google partnered with Square Enix and announced a NES version of their Google Maps service to be released as soon as possible. The version would be released in NES and Famicom versions. The Famicom version would feature voice input by using the second controller's microphone. In the meantime, Google added a quest layer to the Maps website, which features 8-bit tile-based graphics and sprites on landmarks, both made by Google and by Square Enix, using the Dragon Quest game series graphics. Improved Japanese Input System Google's proposed improved keyboard are based on the experience with Japanese Input System from 2010. The YouTube Collection The YouTube Collection YouTube added a small disk on the right side of the YouTube logo, which when clicked leads to a page about a service called the YouTube Collection. It claimed to be an at-home experience of YouTube, and made everything from videos to comments physical, including a postal mail commenting service. At the bottom of the website, it had a fake shipping form which after filled said your order has been placed. Due to heavy demand, your anticipated delivery date is June 16. 2045, and in small grade X at the bottom said also, April Fools. Google Street Roo. Google announced they will deploy a ROO force of more than 1,000 big red kangaroos, who will capture up to 98% of the Australian bush within the next three years. Underwater Image Search An underwater image search experience developed by Google China. Google Weather Control Google added weather control to its weather search. Chrome Multitask Mode Chrome Multitask Mode makes it possible to browse the web with two or more mice at the same time. Clicking the Try Multitask Mode button initially creates one fake mouse that moves around the screen, and over time adds several more. Clicking the Exit Multitask Mode button shows an April Fool's message. A Legon Teaser Google introduced the Elegantes Reframework. 
To use it, one just needs to insert the following line of HTML. Link REL equals style sheet href equals www.google.com web link slash. Upon insertion, every text begins with April Fool and an emoticon before moving on to the regular text. Piano and Guitar Analytics Playback Google Analytics allows their user to play back their website statistics on piano and guitar. Google Racing Google announced a partnership with NASCAR to help create self-driving vehicles to compete in stock car racing. The I'm Feeling Lucky button on Google's site was also changed to I'm Steering Lucky. Google Racing is available at www.google.com web link. Mail tap. Mail tap for Android and iOS double typing speed with the revolutionary new keyboard. The system involves a keyboard with three keys, Morse code dash and dot, and a space bar, along with backspace. Shortly before midnight, on March 31, 2012 added mail tap Android and iOS application utilizing Morse code instead of on-screen keyboard. Selecting download app for your phone. Produces the message, oops. Mail tap is a bit too popular right now. We suggest you try downloading it again on April 2nd. Clicking retry button will produce it still April 1st, 2012. You'll have to wait till April 2nd to download mail tap. After clicking the retry button the page will say still trying to download mail tap. Check back next April 1st to see if it is available, you never know. On Gmail's Facebook page. They also posted about a Morse keyboard. Really Advanced Search. A link on the bottom of search results page is titled Really Advanced Search. Takes users to a search page where they can filter their search results by, among other things, subtext, or in uendo, page font, comic sans, or wingdings, loan word origin, or future modification date. Clicking on the Advanced Search button to actually run the search query redirects users to search results for April Fools. Click to Teleport Extensions Click to Teleport Extensions allow potential customers to instantly teleport to the business location directly from a search ad, in a matter of seconds. This teleportation technology shortens the online to store conversion funnel by providing searchers with an easy way to visit any business and convert. On average, advertisers using click-to-teleport extensions have seen their offline sales increase by 3600%. GoRo Solving the increasingly frustrating problem of accessing mobile internet on rotary phones across the U.S., Google is announcing Goro. Goro aims to fix the problem that 100% of people using rotary phones have trouble accessing a website. Jargon Bot for Google Apps JargonBot instantly recognizes business terms and provides real-time and product jargon translation into plain English. Google TV Click Innovative remote control application for phone and tablet lets users interact with shows and movies as they are playing. Google Voice for Pets Google introduced special voice communication collars that fit around your pet's neck and use a series of sensors to record audio directly from your dog or cat's vocal cords. Using your Wi-Fi network, audio messages are uploaded to your Google Voice account within seconds. Alternately, a tiny micro-LED emitter built into the collar can project a keyboard onto the floor, so your pet can tap their front paws to send text messages. To understand cat or dog, Google took their voicemail transcription engine and combined it with millions of adorable pet videos from the Internet, training it to translate cat meows or dog growls into English. $1 Google Offer for Unlimited Karma Google Offer for Unlimited Good Barking Karma $1 takes the stress and guesswork out of finding a good spot by providing the following service. Prime Spots When You Need Them Repels parking tickets. Includes one space buffer on each side. Shopping cart protection plan. No parallel parking for first six months. Canine staffing team.
Google revealed that dogs at Google offices go through the same detailed recruitment and hiring process by canine staffing team as human Googlers do before being welcomed to the Googleplex. Analytics Interplanetary Reports while currently you only get a partial picture of website visitor location, Google Analytics is expanding beyond Earth by announcing new analytics interplanetary reports to help you understand visitor activities from neighboring stars and planets. You'll also be able to drill down on each planet to see greater detail, e.g. which colony or outpost your visitors came from similar to the city drill down available for Earth today. Did you mean... Beyond San Connie West, in the Play Music Store. Connie West Bug Droid appeared in the Play Music Store. While searching anything, did you mean, Beyonds came up all the time, Google Edible Fiber. Google released a video on YouTube claiming it invented an edible fiber which could take feedback from the body, determine which nutrients are needed and target delivery to the specific organs that need those nutrients. The video actually links to Google Fiber, a broadband internet service by Google. Santa Tracker On December 23, 2012, Google launched Google Santa Tracker. It is supposed to help track Santa's path. It features a dashboard, a GPS, which features an animated drawing of Santa and nine reindeer traveling overseas, and other views of Santa. 2013 YouTube Contest for the Best Video In YouTube's 6th April Fool's Prank, YouTube joined forces with The Onion, a newspaper satire company, by claiming that it will no longer accept new entries. YouTube began the process of selecting a winner on April 1, 2013, and would delete everything else. YouTube would go back online in 2023 to post the winning video and nothing else. After that, on April 1, 2013, YouTube briefly repeated their YouTube collection joke from April 1, 2012. They also broadcast a live ceremony in which two submission coordinators continuously read off the titles and descriptions of random videos, the nominees for 12 straight hours, claiming they would do hold the same ceremony every day for the next two years. Treasure Hunt on Google Maps Google Maps allows their user to start a treasure hunt by selecting the treasure view from the top right. Google Maps notes that the system may not be able to display at higher resolutions than paper print and that their user should take care when unfolding the map to avoid ripping it. Also, their user is warned to be aware sick of pirates. In reference to the TV show Portlandia, an image of a bird was placed on Portland, Oregon. Explore Treasure Mode with Google Maps Google Knows On April 1, 2013, Google launched its fake product, Google Knows Beta. This product claimed to search for smells. Google staffers even went far enough with their creativity to cover mobile devices. In this April Fool's prank with the Android Ambient Toter Detection which was said to collect smells from phones, the product intersects photons with infrasound waves and temporarily aligns molecules to emulate a particular scent, the Google Knows beta landing page said. Huffington Post said, it all sounds so great. They made an introductory video explaining the purported intention behind the new feature. According to the clip, their mobile aroma indexing program created a 15 million centibyte database of smells from all over the world. Google Knows Improved Google Play Developer Console The addition of an add new awesome application button Google Japanese Input Patapata version Google introduces a new Japanese input system. Users repeatedly tap a single button to cycle through different letters. A brief pause confirms the current letter and advances the cursor to begin and to ring the next one. The name Patapata likely references a Japanese word for split flap display, onomatopoeically dubbed Patapata Shuki for its distinctive fluttering sound, when updating. There also exists Patapon, where Pata is one of the sounds made with a drum, P-A-T-A-P-A-T-A-P-A-T-A-Pon happens to be one F of the first rhythms the game teaches you. International Space Station on Google Analytics 
Google Analytics fooled users by showing that their website was being viewed from the International Space Station control room on the real-time page. Mail blue. Mail is now the color blue. Google Schmick Simple Complete House Makeover Internet Conversion Kit. Google Schmick allows you to redesign your street viewed house so that you can fly the Australian flag like you've always wanted to outside your house. Google Fiber Poles. Google Fiber to the Pole provides ubiquitous gigabit connectivity to fiber hoods across Kansas City. This latest innovation in Google Fiber technology enables users to access Google Fiber's ultra-fast gigabit speeds even when they are out and about. Google Wallet Mobile ATM Google announces the release of the Google Wallet Mobile ATM. The mobile ATM device easily attaches to most smartphones and dispenses money instantly and effortlessly forever ending your search for the nearest bank or ATM. The Google Wallet Mobile ATM technology allows you to enter the amount of money you want to withdraw directly in your phone or use voice-activated dispenser. Unlike traditional ATMs, the Google Wallet Mobile ATM even dispenses rare $2 and $50 bills as well as more practical $1 bills. Levity Algorithm in Google Apps Google introduces the Levity Algorithm in Google Apps to help you spice up even the most boring of work days. Updated Export and Send to Features on Google Analytics Google updated the Export and Send to features for Google Analytics to give users even more options and support some of our favorite legacy technology, 3.5 Floppy, CD-ROM, Papyrus, Sticky Note, Carrier Pigeon, Fax, Telegram, Telegraph. Self-Writing Code Program Google developed Self-Writing Code Program. Now that Google engineers are not spending their time at the desk programming, they have plenty of time to collaborate with teammates, attend talks and events on campus, go for a workout at the gym, or try out a new cafe. Google always encourages employees to have a full life outside of the office, and now Google employees have tremendous work-life balance. Google Search Cold Trends The least searched topics on Google Cold searches is the way to discover new unique things that nobody else is into. Atari Breakout Image Search Searching for Atari Breakout in Google Images will turn the resulting images into bricks, in the style of Atari's game Breakout. April Fool's Day product launches Google has chosen April Fool's Day and the day before it to announce some of their actual products. As a form of viral marketing, Shortly before midnight on March 31, 2004, Google announced the launch of Gmail. However, many people believed it was a hoax because free web-based email with one gigabyte of storage was unheard of at the time. In 2005, Google increased mail storage to two gigabytes and released Google Ride Finder. On March 31, 2010, YouTube implemented its new video page design, which had been revealed two months earlier. On April 1, 2010, Google Street View received a new feature to toggle Anaglyph 3D images. It was available by clicking on the icon depicting Pegman wearing a pair of red slash cyan glasses. The icon was present until April 8, when it was removed. The 3D view is now available by right-clicking on the image and selecting the 3D mode option or by pressing T or 3 on the keyboard. The images are genuine anaglyph images with the red slash cyan offset being greater for closer objects. On April 1, 2013, Google announced Google Plus Emotion. Google Plus can now plumb the emotional depths of everyone in the photo, then summarize their feelings with a beautifully crafted emotion icon.